Hi, we're here at the Jay Likud stand with Martin Perez, who is a physical coach for polo players. What's the difference between uh, the work you do with polo players versus any other sportsman? Well, it's so different because at, at the begin, to begin with, they are playing on a horse, so that's game changer. So, for example, if you're going to train with a tennis player, it's completely different because they're running, and here you're on top of a horse. So, starting from that, you have to, you have to realize that they need a different, different physical qualities so to get better and to feel better on the horse. With, with your watch, uh, it's reversible and we inscribed something on the hard, on the hard outer plate. What, what, what motto, aphorism, saying uh, would you have, or somebody's name or dedication, what would you put on yours? Well, I would certainly put my wife. She's a dressage rider and uh, it's funny that you say it, but you did the same interview with my son Pasquale in Polo Line and they asked him the same question. He said, who would you give a watch? And he said to me, to my mother and to my father, so you would have to give him two. So I'm here with Joe Gottschalk in the Jaeger Lounge. Welcome, Joe. So you have that reverso? Yeah, we still have that. If, if you could put something on, if you could put something on the back of uh, on the back of the reverso, what would it be? Just put Lily on. Delphin, welcome. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about your organization? We started about 30 years ago with a polo. We call it Asociación Argentina de Creadores Caballos de Polo. That's why nowadays, when a horse is bred uh, and we start to play, play it and everything, they, it's incredible how they like to play polo. They already know how to play polo. It's like they're already born to play polo. Hi, we are here at the Jaya Likud tent with Belen Tornesi. Did you know anything about the brand, Jaya Likud, before oh, yes. you came? Yes, I, um, I would love to have it, a watch. Okay, well, we'll try and sort that out <laughs> for you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Luke Tomlinson, uh, captain of the England team. And one last question I'm going to spring on you. You're now the proud recipient of a Jaeger Lakutra watch. Uh, we have inscriptions on the, it's the reverso, so it's got a, it's got a hard side for playing polo. What would, you, what would you have inscribed on it? I think it's got to be, you know, polo forever or something. Hi, we're here at the Jaeger Lakut 10 with Francisca, who's come all the way from Germany to see the Open. Is this a, your first time here? It is, it is. It's the second time in Buenos Aires, but the first time at this polo tournament. If you had a reverso watch, what would you engrave on the back? I think I would go for something classical like my initials. Hi, I'm here with Hilario Ojoa, one of the pivotal players from La Alegria. It's not easy, Chapalefu, is it? They had a lot of experience, so we knew it was going to be a tough game. But luckily, we played really well, we scored some nice goals, and we really played as a team, so everything worked out really well. You are the manager of the Elestina team, that's, that's quite a yes. title. What do you, what's, your, what's your approach? And yeah, it's very funny, that's a good, very good question because we have meetings, we watch the videos, the videos of the, our play games and then the videos of the opposition that we're going to play against and then the videos of our practices. I thought in the beginning of the season that it was much better to really put a, very, a lot of emphasis in, in, in the things that I, the, the, in the ideas that we wanted. Everything is not, this is not orders. It end up in a decision. I get the, I give the idea, and then if, if they really feel that it's a good idea and they can make it, we we, we make it. Okay, so I'm here with Eduardo Novillo Estrada. He's the linchpin of the La Guarda Las Mojitas team. Welcome, Eduardo. So you you have a long-standing relationship with Jaeger Lacutra, don't you? It started in 2006, so we have a uh, eight years now with with the brand, and we are part of the family. And I think we are signing for another two, so. We keep going. What I have inscribed on my reverso? Yeah. I have, uh, if you haven't already got something, what will you have inscribed? I have inscribed, I have inscribed the, 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 the La Guada logo and, and my brother's name. So I'm here with Augustine Merlos, otherwise known as Tincho, needs no introduction. Welcome, Augustine. Thank you very much. How are you finding this tournament so far? Oh, well, Palermo is always excitement uh, to watch and to play, and uh, I think uh, it's a unique uh, tournament. So I find that this is, I've been coming here since I have memory, so this is like home for me. It'd be nice to have a name of, uh, of my, my best horses, probably, okay. but uh, I don't know, I haven't think about it. Okay, so I'm here with Milo Fernando Sarajo, one of the greatest names in polo, and now has the top job of being the coach for La Dolfina. How do you feel after today's win? Not much of a surprise. Oh, it's nice to win, like every time, but bueno, more thinking in the semi-finals, no? When you win, you are quiet normally every time. The problem is you have to be quiet when you lose. We'll see if that happens sometime. So there you have it, all the most interesting characters in polo in one place, the Jaeger Lacutra Lounge. Next weekend's the semi-finals. 
And here is where you want to be. See you then.